Summertime Render Episode 7 We continue from the uh, on the final scene of the last episode. Kung nasusundan yung mga reviews ko of this anime. Well, we discovered na wag may pagka-schizophrenic pala itong scene. Itong si Nabumo. So, she has um, Hizuru, the female, and Rinosuke, the male. You know, the, yeah, the, the, her little brother. So, they commenced a plan to infiltrate the Kobayakawas. Hizuru has, uh, Hizuru has killed the fake parents, but the, the child herself, si Shiori, went after her. With Shinpei's help, na-capture nila ang shadow na to. So, medyo, may konting, so may interrogation na nangyari. Just as when, medyo, Ah, uh, medyo napapanatag na ang loob ni Shinpei sa mga sinasabi ng shadow na to. Oh, he's not just ended it by smashing the shadow's head in. <laughs> after uh, after extracting the information Shinpei needed, they now proceeded to to helping Shinpei out in uh, in saving his own family. Yan si Lamio, kay mga Mio si Alan. So, umuwi mo na siya, kunwari, kasi nakanta pa yung dalawa eh, si Hizuru at si Nagumo at si Nezu sa labas na ng bahay nila. Napunta na si, uh, si Mio na nagluluto, which she, which she doesn't usually do kasi medyo takot daw magluto ito. So, nagtaka siya. But eventually, nakita naman niya yung, but he's found enough proof na hindi pa shadow ito kasi maraming, maraming band aid yung kamay. And, tinapakan niya yung shadow ni Mio. Nope, hindi umiwas. So, yeah. Yeah, hindi pa, hindi pa shadow ito. Final scene. Bigla na lang may... Uh, uh, bigla na lang may narinig na uh, pag, pagkulo ng chan si Shinpei. He suddenly heard a a stomach grumble. Nung pagtingin niyang gano'n, nakaakap na sa kanya si Ushio. Let's get down to business, shall we? Let's break this episode down now, critics of style. Pace! The pace was absolutely tense nung first, a good first half of the episode. Because this is where the violence was taken to another level. Right? Yung tipong uh, like I said a while ago, Vigo. To the level of Berserk and Hikurashi. Right? Well, any form of any form of extreme violence is absolutely disturbing. Pero nung second half ng episode, medyo nag-tone down kasi nag- um, nag, nag strategize yung mga yung mga lead characters on how to on how to save Shinpei's family. Understandable. Okay? So, do I have complaints? The pace was was tense when it needed to be. It was um, nice and easy when it needed to be. Kaya, swak na. Flow na man. First gear shift here was was when they were able to capture the fake Shiori Kobayakawa. And mukhang but based on this gear shift, we we sort of had an an idea na parang high level shadow ito right it knows when when it's about to be killed what does this gear shift tell us it just goes to show you na there's more to the shadow sickness than just than than just these um these beings um, killing and copying people killing then copying people there's more to it at saka wow final gear shift alright there are only two guys there are only two that I saw it's of course the final scene well we all know from the previous episode na 
mukhang mukhang nasa ba yung totoong usyo sa siguro sa time travel uh, nung inactivate okay nung, nung inactivate ni Shin pa yung kanyang time travel ability that scene worked uh, work two ways eh. you can you can deep dive into it right it has that deep dive factor kaya that's why I call it a gear ship right normally final scenes are gear ships based on our experience here in the critics out right so these two gear ships that I saw definitely will play a role down the line in this anime plot wise um kung nag reset si Shinpei dito kung napareset napareset si Shinpei dito I would still call that a um uh, a, back, a back story or a side story kasi nag umulit eh but the plot of this episode wow talagang it made me focus on uh, on yeah on the really disturbing parts on mainly on how to kill these shadows as uh, as shown by Hisuru right? by Hisuru's um, her fight scene with the, with the Kobayakawas okay wow <laughs> that was really violent right so malinis ang plot Patreon Digo mga ka lifestyle you need only a clean plot to to show the audience how disturbing and violent uh, this episode can be. Kasi kung lalagyan nyo ng side story or back story, sira eh. Sira yung momentum. Ah! Sira yung momentum ng, ng bawat uh, violent at disturbing sequence sequence dito. Sira yan. And, hin baka hindi nyo maintindihan yung overall plot ng episode na to. Mira. So, pace, flow, and plot They all came together for this episode though. So, Summertime Render Episode 7 Hindi ko na sabihin 8 Nga pala, late na nag-start to eh Hmm, two thumbs up You know So far In Spring 2022 the two most disturbing animes right now are this and Tomodachi Game. And, wow. Uh, I think I made the right decision to review both of them at the same time. Yeah, within the same season. Talagang, I'm, I'm being treated to, to two animes that, that will make you, that will, that will pick your brain bottom line. Right? That will pick your brain no matter no matter how smart, no matter how smart or dumb you are. So, if you haven't caught up to this to this particular anime yet, right now, sa ko sa inyo, catch up on those episodes. We're in for uh, well, eight episodes in. I could say na uh, we're in for uh, for more. For more, for more disturbing feels, for more, for more of those Higurashi and Berserk feels. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally uh, preparing myself for that. So again, summertime render episode seven. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for summertime render. Mga lifestyle, page on Bigo. Wow, they, they really up the violence in this one. So Patreon and Bigo. Wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, eh, alam pa magagawa ko, eh. Yan na nga, pinatamad kayong panoorin ako sa page yun at Bigo, eh. Well, panoorin ko lang kayo mang chill-chill dyan. Um, I'm gonna get my popcorn. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.